Welcome to the Socrata Data Academy course on data culture, teams, and projects. My name is Justin Bruce, and I'm a program manager here at Socrata. I'll be your host for this course. A little background on myself. I'm currently a program manager at Socrata, where I partner with state and local government organizations throughout the country to use data to improve their program delivery and outcomes. Previously, I was the Director of Innovation and Performance for the City of Jackson, Mississippi, where I led the effort to drive meaningful results on the administration's top priorities through using data and evidence to build a data-oriented culture. All right, that's enough about me. Let's get started. In the previous course on data analysis, you learned that we are surrounded by data and people perform analytic tasks all the time. But what really makes data analysis happen in a meaningful way is teamwork. Dealing with data entails a lot of tools and technology, but people are the real analytical engines. And when people come together in teams, there are a lot of things you have to consider in order for those teams to work well. So now we're going to talk about organizations that best support the use of data, what those organizations look like and how they operate. That means we're going to be talking about topics that are often assumed, but not always well-defined or truly understood, like culture, values, organizational structure, and decision-making processes. To kick it all off, we're going to start by investigating what culture means. Take a moment to think about that yourself. What do you think a culture is, and how would you describe that to someone else? Culture is a tricky topic because like so many other social phenomena, people have an intuitive sense of what it is. But a rigorous definition that everyone can agree on is hard to come by. That said, one of the more enduring definitions comes from Edgar Schein in his 1990 paper, Organizational Culture. Schein's definition is a dense one. So for now, let's focus on the first part, which is about assumptions. Ultimately, what Shine is talking about is shared values. A more concise description of his definition could be that culture is a system of shared assumptions, values, and beliefs which governs how people behave in organizations. There's a great deal of overlap between those three words, but what's key here is that they are shared within a given culture. One way to start exploring this is to talk about your own personal values as they often anchor the beliefs we have and assumptions we make based on them. You value something because you consider it important or worthwhile. Here is a list of values that many people might generally agree on. What's key is that you don't simply have values in the abstract. Values influence actions you take. They help define your daily behavior. So take a minute to write down some of your values and their associated behaviors. Whether they are written down or not, every organization has its own values that guide its actions. Just like individual people, these values vary widely across organizations. The values of a publicly traded corporation might look very different than the values of a city council or a military organization, though there may still be some shared values among all three. Let's look more closely now at what an organization that values data would look like. To kick things off, you've learned that culture is a shared set of assumptions, values, and beliefs that influences the behavior of people within an organization. The nature of that culture has a strong impact on how information is processed, which is a key factor in organizational effectiveness. 